everyone it's me Walter, and are we really shocked that we're getting another Spongebob movie. Amy grew up with the first one, and she thought the second one was okay, but the third one reminded her of Gary Come Home. So yeah, she doesn't like that movie at all. We're both shocked to see another Spongebob, but Nickelodeon won't let him die so whatever, let's just talk about this upcoming movie. Paramount and Nickelodeon are taking SpongeBob SquarePants on a new adventure that will transport him and his friends to uncharted waters in the upcoming movie Search for SquarePants. The film's president, Ramsey Naito, shared the news about the character's next cinematic journey in an interview with Variety. We're developing more spin offs and a series of movies for streamers, as well as a theatrical release, Search for SquarePants. The next one is going to be set in the deep sea somewhere the series has never gone before. And the plan is that, like Avatar 2 or Wakanda Forever, we're going to be immersed in this extraordinary underwater world. I think it's going to be incredible to see. So, Ramsey's never seen Rock Bottom? For those who don't remember, Rock Bottom was the season 1 episode 17B of Spongebob where after going to Glove World Spongebob and Patrick accidentally end up in Rock Bottom and after many shenanigans finally manage to get out. This movie is already reminding me of something people have seen, much like Sponge on the Run. Anyways, back to Spongebob this departure from the familiar bikini bottom setting marks a significant shift for the iconic character. Paramount and Nickelodeon's collaboration with Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg in revitalizing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles proved successful, injecting new life and humor into the franchise. Now, with SpongeBob SquarePants set to embark on a deep sea adventure, the studios continue their efforts to appeal to both new and nostalgic audiences. Naito expressed, We want to appeal to moms and dads and kids all at the same time, and often that means focusing on the comedy. That's what we did with Seth and Evan on Turtles or Chris Miller, who directed Puss in Boots and is now doing our Smurfs movie. We are trying to strum every chord. We are trying to attract older audiences who grew up with Turtles or SpongeBob, while also inviting in new ones. According to Naito, the absence of a house style in Paramount Animation's approach allows each movie to express the creator's vision uniquely. Collaborating with different animation vendors for each project ensures that Turtles looks different from Paw Patrol, Transformers 1, and the upcoming Smurfs movie. She asserted, all of the movies we're making look radically different. It's important for us as a studio to make films that express the creator's visions. Naito's return to Nickelodeon in the 1990s was driven by her excitement to work with Brian Robbins a visionary creator who significantly influenced the Nickelodeon brand. She said, I'd been working in animation for a long time, and when I heard Brian was going back to Nickelodeon, I was so excited because he was one of the creators who really helped define the brand. When he asked me to join him, I jumped at the chance. While I am skeptical about this movie, I'd like to know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. I'll see you all later. Take care and have a lovely day. Happy Rainbow Room Day.